Hello, Central Illinois. Tonight, we are all Prairie Central Hawks. Central Illinois coaches, athletes, and fans all sending support to Prairie Central High School after the heartbreaking news that two star student athletes, Drew Fair and Dylan Bazell, both died in a sledding accident in Colorado. As a sportscaster, you're kind of taught to be neutral. But both of these young men were among my absolute favorites, both multi-sport athletes. Drew is best known as an All-State football player and academic All-State as well, a devastating linebacker and running back for the Hawks. Dylan just finished a first-team All-State basketball season. I was proud to vote for him as a first-team All-Stater, playing for his coach and father, Darren. The two boys were actually bad interviews. That's because they were so doggone humble and always wanted to talk about team, they refused to brag about themselves at all. They were all-time great Prairie Central Hawks. I've heard from so many athletes and coaches who competed against these great student athletes. I echo their message. We are devastated. Our prayers and support goes out to the families and to all in the Prairie Central community. To tonight's high school sports now, we start in baseball. Normal West at Pekin. Normal West had their ace, Jesse Courtney, on the mound, and Courtney was terrific. It's the strikeout right here. The Wildcats strike offensively. Cooper Temples is going to hit one up that hill in Pekin. An RBI double will chase home both Nicholas Haslett and Jake Morrill. Coach Hawkins waving that right arm furiously to wave him home. Will Strell with an RBI single here to score Temples, and Normal West is the winner. 13 to 8. To Metamora, Metamora taking on Ori. And Metamora was down 6 1, but they got some real solid relief pitching from Gavin O'Laughlin. You need good bullpen work to get back in the game. They got a grand slam homer from Caden Hartnett, then tied the game when Reese McAllister right here will drive in Tyler Mason in the sixth inning. But in the seventh inning, it was a very bad hop base hit by Orion. A good hop if you're an Orion fan. Vicious hop here off the third baseman to score the winning run. Orion wins at 7. To six. Eureka's home opener was today versus uh, Olympia, and Eureka was kind of lapping the Spartans. Ben Lap drives in Zachariah Lap with the RBI hit right here. Ben Jablonski is one of the stars back for Eureka, and I thought he hit one out of the ballpark here, but the line drives to the wall, will drive in one. Then it's winning pitcher Slater, Slater Wilcox doubling the fun, hits one to almost the exact same spot, looks like a replay. That's an RBI double, and Eureka's a winner. Eight to two, Eureka. In softball action, normal U-High visiting Bloomington. We're going to start with Bloomington catcher Mark Hopes. Beautiful throw, and Lauren Chewy, terrific tag. What a play by the girls in purple. But normal U-High comes back. Jordan Roop can swing it. She doubles right here. Then Ryan Combs with an RBI single will score Roop, and normal U-High wins the 13-run pool. Their winners today by a score of 13 to 1. To soccer, Peoria Richwood's wearing purple today to honor Team Tessa. Tessa Sutton's birthday today, and the girls wearing purple were on the attack against IVC. IVC goalie Maddie Gingrich with a nice save right here. But watch Richards, pretty goal right here by the Quinteros. Brenda Quintero to Dahlia Quintero. Dahlia's up, up, and away for the goal. Pretty goal right there, looking good in purple. Richwood's a winner, 8-zip. Clinton hosting a last chance meet at Shirk Center. Last chance to post a top time indoors in the 4x200 relay. Peoria Richwoods had a great time. Anchored by Madison Franklin, they are the winners. In the 200 dash, normal u highs Anna Barr is going to chase down the leader. Here comes Anna, and she is a winner at the finish line right there. She also won the 60 hurdles. Lincoln's Becca Heitzik's unbelievable. She won the 1600, the 800. She wins everything. A winner tonight as well. 